In this video, I like to show you how to solve equations with variables on both sides. And I'll demonstrate how to do this with the equation 5x plus 2 equals 3x plus 8. Now, just as with one and two step equations, the goal is to isolate the variable, meaning we need to get the variable by itself. So in the end, we want to show what the variable is equal to. In this case, we have the variable term 5x on the left side of the equal sign, and on the right side of the equal sign, we have the variable term 3x. The first step is to remove one of the variable terms so that there's only one. Now, you can decide to remove 5x or you can remove 3x. I recommend removing the smallest variable term since removing the largest one would involve negative numbers which just adds onto your list of things to do while solving the equation. So for that reason, I'm going to remove 3x. Well, how do you remove 3x? Well, you notice that the coefficient 3 is positive. So in order to remove the variable term 3x, I'll need to use the opposite operation, which is subtraction. So to remove 3x from the right side of the equal sign, I'm going to subtract 3x from the right side of the equal sign. And 3x minus 3x equals 0, which completely removes 3x from the right side of the equal sign. Now, both sides of the equal sign need to always remain equal, which means whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you need to do the same on the other side of the equal sign to keep it equal, just as you would with a balance scale. If the scale is balanced, the amount of weight that you add or remove on one side of the scale will cause imbalance. This means you'll need to add or remove the same amount on the other side of the scale to keep it balanced. So again, since I've subtracted 3x on the right side of the equal sign, I'm going to also subtract 3x on the left side of the equal sign. And 5x minus 3x equals 2x. Now let's bring down the remaining parts of the equation, plus two equals eight. So now we have an equation with a variable on one side. Now remember, the goal is to isolate the variable, meaning we need to get the variable by itself. So we need to get rid of the coefficient two and the constant two. Now to do this, we need to do reverse order of operations, which means we first need to remove the constant 2. Now the constant 2 is being added in this equation. So to remove it, we have to use the opposite operation, which is subtraction. And remember, whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you need to do the same on the other side of the equal sign to keep it equal. So to remove 2 from the left side of the equal sign, I'm going to subtract 2 from the left side of the equal sign. And 2 minus 2 equals 0, which completely removes 2 from the left side. And again, since I've subtracted 2 on the left side of the equal sign, I'll also need to subtract 2 from the right side of the equal sign. And 8 minus 2 equals 6. Now, let's bring down the remaining parts of the equation 2x. So now we have the equation 2x equals 6. Now we only have to remove one more thing to get the variable x by itself, and that is the coefficient 2. And remember, to remove terms, we need to use the opposite operation. And as you can see, 2 is being multiplied by x, and the opposite of multiplication is division. So to remove 2 on the left side, we need to divide by 2 on the left side. And remember, whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you need to do the same on the other side of the equal sign to keep it equal. So to remove two from the left, I'm going to divide by two on the left. And two divided by two equals one, which completely isolates the variable x. And the reason this isolates the variable x is because one multiplied by any number equals whatever that number is. So we can bring down the variable x without writing the number 1 next to it. 
And again, since I've divided by 2 on the left side of the equal sign, I'll also need to divide by 2 on the right side of the equal sign. And 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So x is equal to 3. If you like this video, please subscribe to Mr. McLean Math. And also, be sure to click all so that you get notifications when new math videos are uploaded. Thank you for watching.